I want to take a quick second to discuss the issue of reholstering. Uh, now, I keep having people talk about reholstering and concealed carry as if they're actually, you know, they go together. Like they're said, like they like reholstering is an issue that you even have to consider when you're considering what holster you're going to carry for your everyday concealed carry weapon. Uh, to me, that's just silly. Reholstering is not something you have to consider when you're going to conceal carry. Uh, it's like these people think they're going to be Old West style, slapping iron in the town square and spinning their guns and putting them back in their holster. It's just not going to happen at, at all, period. Uh, when you're concealed carrying, no one sees your gun. Uh, you're never going to draw your gun unless you are in grave danger. Uh, Hopefully if you draw your gun, you're not going to have to shoot it, but even if you do or don't shoot it, you're not going to be in a situation where you're going to have to reholster quickly. Uh, if, if you don't have to shoot your gun, you don't have to reholster quickly. Hopefully the threat has ended and left. You have time to carefully place your gun away, and you're going to want to do that anyway because you want to make sure like during the adrenaline rush you didn't take off safeties that are on, blah, blah, blah. So you want to carefully reinspect your gun and put it back in your holster anyway. You're not going to be quickly sticking it back in. Uh, if you do have to fire your weapon, well, then you're definitely not going to be reholstering quickly just not something you're going to want to have to do. Uh, especially if the police are coming, you don't want to be putting your gun back in a hidden area. You want to keep your gun visible. Uh, someone asked me the other day, said to me the other day, well, I can think of a reason why I have to reholster quickly. If I, if I have to shoot somebody, I know the police are on the way, I don't want to get shot, so I want to reholster my gun. No, if you know the police are coming quickly and you've shot somebody and you're no longer in danger, you do not reholster your gun. You lock your slide back, uh, you pull your magazine out, you lay your gun on the ground, you take 10 steps, to 10 paces back and you stand there with your palms showing. Uh, you're not going. You don't want to get yourself shot because you have a gun on you when they respond to a man with a gun call. So reholstering is just not an issue you have to consider when you're concealed carrying. I wish people would quit uh, giving people that impression. It's just, it's just not. Uh, like I'm carrying a holster right now. I'm carrying my N8 Square Tactical. I know you can't see it right now, but it's uh, the, the Pro model, so it's easily reholstered. So, but people keep these ideas, but that's not a necessary feature. I like it for its for other features, not that. And I will do a review on it soon. Uh, the reholstering part of it is something I don't even consider. So a lot of people think, well, i got to get a Kydex holster because the reholster is easy. I can't have a holster that closes or, you know, it doesn't matter. If the holster is comfortable and you're going to wear it more because it's comfortable, it'd be better to have a holster that's comfortable that you'll use every day that it's hard to put your gun back into than it is to have an uncomfortable hard holster that you're not going to want to carry and it's uncomfortable to carry that you can reholster it in easily because you're giving up comfort for something that you're never going to have to do and you shouldn't even be doing. So when you're choosing your concealed carry holster, don't concern yourself with reholstering. That is just an outdated cowboy mentality of some sort that I just don't understand it. So just choose the holster that you think is the most comfortable and that you'll actually carry.